is Coach Lydia DeFrancesco with Fit and Healthy 365. Today we're going to be doing a workout tailored specifically for sailors. So you can either be a beginner sailor, intermediate or advanced level sailor. This workout is for you. If you live in the BC area, check out my friend Penny Caldwell Sailing School. It's called Sail Nelson and they're located obviously in Nelson, BC. Sailing actually involves a lot of strength, upper body strength, core strength, balance, etc. This workout is designed so that you can excel at the various tasks that you need to do while on your boat. So for example, when you're tacking and jibing, or pulling on the sheets, or letting out the sheets, or lowering or raising the sails, or even pulling on sail bags. The Exercises that I chose for you are specifically based on these type of movements that you're doing while you're in the boat so that you can increase your strength and make it easier for, do, for you to do the things that you need to do on the boat. So what, what we're going to do, the workout is designed in two supersets. There are three exercises in each superset. The workout is designed for you to do at home and you don't need very much equipment for it. You do need some kind of heavy item. It doesn't, if you have dumbbells, that's great, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. Today I've got a laundry detergent bottle. I'm gonna show you an option with a resistance band. And I've also got a duffel bag here that I filled up. So this is actually not too heavy right now, but you could fill it with something heavier. You just wanna make sure that it's nothing that's breakable. The first exercise is a lateral squat walk. So this is a movement that you definitely do a lot when you're in your boat. So we wanna make sure you're strengthening your quads, strengthening your glutes as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into a hip width apart stance and bend your knees in a squat like position. You wanna make sure your bum is going back, kinda of like you're squatting over a toilet. And then you're just gonna with one foot, take a step to the side and then with the other foot. So you're just stepping to the side. So you're gonna go for 10 each side. I obviously don't have the space here. You could even do less. So if you don't have a lot of space either, that's totally okay. You could do five and five, and then five and five again. Another option to make it a little more challenging is to use the resistance band. So what you would do is you would put that under your feet. Again, get into that squat position. You're staying in the squat position the whole time. We're loading up our quads. And then that's gonna add just a little bit of more resistance, make it a little more difficult. And keeping with the band, we're gonna use that for the next exercise, which is an upright row. This is also a movement that you see a lot of on your boat. You're gonna stand on the band, hands in front, and with the elbows, you're gonna lift up. So you're leading with your elbows, just up to shoulder height. So again, this is something you could do with dumbbells as well. You could lift them up like that or if you've got your duffel bag or any other type of heavy thing, you can lift that up as well. Again, you wanna keep your uh, elbows just up to shoulder height, you don't have to go any higher. And then the third exercise in this superset is a body weight shoulder press. So here, you're gonna get into a triangle type of position, hands flat on the floor, and you wanna aim your head down to the ground. You're bending your elbows, and you wanna use the shoulder muscles to come down. So that's the uh, third exercise. So you would do 10 reps, 10 steps of these, 10 upright rows. I don't know if you can see, or my little Lulu's walking around right now. And uh, 10 body weight shoulder presses. And then you can take a rest in between each superset, probably about 30 to 45 seconds and then do three rounds of that, and then move on to the next superset. This is Lulu, guys. Can I say hi? She's my little mascot. She's so cute. And then, uh, so the second superset is going to be, uh, the first exercise is a deadlift with a clean. So for that, again, you can use your um, dumbbells if you have them, or you can use, again, the sort of duffel bag thing. You're gonna tip forward, hips going back, and as you, once you stand up, you're gonna bring your arms, flick your wrists and catch the duffel bag. So again, you're tipping forward and coming up. So this is a movement that you would do a lot of if you're pulling your sail bags. They are quite heavy, and so you wanna make sure you're lifting them carefully. So from the side, you're gonna tip forward so our bum's going back. Back stays nice and straight, core's engaged, and you're gonna come up and catch. Second exercise 
exercise of this superset, so you can do 10 of those as well. We're kind of doing mostly 10 of everything. Uh, second exercise is a standing Superman with a row. So for this one, you could use the, um, a dumbbell, you could use a resistance band. I'm gonna show you with my laundry detergent bottle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stand on one leg and then you're gonna have the weight in the opposite hand. This is gonna be working on our balance and our rowing. So you're gonna tip forward. If you're a little new at this, don't tip as much. If you have some good strength and balance, you can tip a little bit more, back leg comes up. Your other arm can go out to the side to help keep your balance. And then you're gonna row up. You wanna bring that elbow up to the ceiling. And then of course you switch, switch sides. So you're gonna do 10 on one side and 10 on the other. You wanna make sure you're keeping your shoulders down and thinking about squeezing your back. And then the final exercise is called a renegade row. You can do these with dumbbells, but you wanna make sure that you're not rotating your hips at all. This one is actually an anti-rotation exercise, which is very important for you when you're on the sailboat, because a lot of times you need to, you've got a, you know, the sheets or whatever in your hands, or you're pulling on the ropes and stuff, and it's pulling you, the wind is going, and you need to actually use your core muscles so that you don't rotate along with it. You wanna stay fixed, it's trying to pull you, and you need those the uh, anti-rotation strength in order to stay fixed in your position. So the Renegade Row is a really, really good one for that. Uh, you're gonna get in a plank position, and you're gonna have your wrists underneath the shoulders in a nice solid plank from your shoulders down to your toes. Odd gaze is looking down, and then you're going to squeeze everything, squeeze your bum, keep your shoulders down, lats engaged, core engaged, and you're gonna lift your elbow up to the ceiling. So you really wanna try not to do this. You don't wanna have any twisting. If it's too hard on your toes, start off with your knees, hold it for a second, come back down, other side. That's still gonna be just as challenging. So up, key thing is that these hips are not moving at all. We really wanna work on that at rotation strength. And uh, for that one, you could do it again, 10 each side, or a little bit less if it's more challenging. If you find that you're twisting a lot, don't do as many, take a little break, repeat the circuit, and try and add on as you go. And uh, again, do three sets. You can rest 30 seconds to 45 seconds in between, and then you're done, that's it. So the whole thing, is, uh, is not gonna take you too long, probably 15 to 20 minutes. I like to design all my workouts so that they're short and sweet, but very effective. I love your feedback on the workout, so feel free to post comments and get in touch if you have any questions. Uh, myself or Penny would be happy to help you, and happy sailing!